Okay, my family, I have a message from our sister Deborah Waldron Fry. And as you listen to this message, some of you who have been with me for a while may think that it sounds somewhat similar to a message I gave a couple of years ago. At one point, when I was worried about my children and about them having to go through some of the things to come upon this earth, I realized that no matter what I, no matter what, I would leave it at the feet of Jesus. And I prayed hard to him and I poured out my heart to him. And I told him about my fear of my children having to go through the hard times and the things to come upon this earth and about my family. And I laid it at his feet. And I received a dream. And in the dream, my family and I live in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, in the dream, we were at Lake Mead on a boat. And the boat was an older boat. And it wasn't uh, in the best of shape. And we saw storm clouds, dangerous storm clouds approaching, dark, ominous, with lightning. And it was started to rain a little, and our little boat was taking on water. And we were using whatever we could find in the boat, little um, plastic cups or um, bowls, in order to empty out the water from the boat, so our boat would remain afloat. We were moving, the storm was moving closer into us. And up ahead in the distance, we saw a rock. And so we made our way to the rock. And when we came around the bend of the rock, we saw a cave in the rock. And in that cave, we found shelter and we tied the boat to the cave. And my family immediately after we were in the shelter of the rock, got down upon our knees and gave thanks to God for the shelter in the storm. And then it was like I was watching in a movie, the camera, my vision panned away from us being in the opening praying on the rock to it did, the camera panned out and the rock that we were in were the two cupped hands of Jesus Christ creating our cave. All glory to God. And ever since that day, I have felt peace and secure that I know that no matter what comes, whatever we might have to see, whatever we might have to go through, He will be there with us. And we will be in His hands. So I shall not fear anymore, but I will have faith. Faith that He will bring us through and he will be there with us. He will go before us to make the crooked pathway straight. He will build our shield and our buckler and even our strong high tower. He is our protection from all evil. The Lord our God is our rear guard. If he is for us, who can be against us? Now here's a message from my sister Deborah Waldron Fry. A message for the Bride of Christ. In this vision, she saw the Bride of Christ. She was standing on a rock in the middle of dark, threatening waters. All around her was a tremendous storm with waves and winds roaring. She heard a comforting voice telling her to look up. She then saw what she saw. It was a perfect opening through the dark clouds, like a portal, an open heaven with light shining from it and upon her. It had always been there. She just hadn't been looking up, but she had been looking down at herself and her circumstances. She had not even realized that she was safe. Beloved, I am the rock on which you stand. I am your savior, and I am good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. I am your rock and your fortress in whom you take refuge. Though the winds of destruction blow all around you, look up, my child. Keep your mind on things above where you are seated with me in heavenly places, the way you know. I am the door. 
I am the gate. You dwell in the secret place. Though many shall fall, you will not fall, my child, for I hold you in my hand. Wherever you are, my light shines upon you. The heavens are open over you, dear one. Angels come and go and minister to you. Our connection is secure through my Holy Spirit. The enemy cannot touch you when your eyes are upon me, my bride. Your God reigns over all things. I am your salvation and your glory, the rock of your strength. Look up when the storms of life threaten to overtake you. I alone am your rock and salvation. I am your defender. Even the evil winds and the seas of chaos must obey me. The works of darkness are destroyed by the brightness of my presence. Fear not, beloved, I have placed your feet upon the rock, and you shall not be moved. As is written in Psalms 18, 2 and 3, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I shall take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from all my enemies. Matthew 8 and 26, the Then Jesus rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and therefore was a great calm, and the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this that even winds and sea obey him? In Ezekiel 1 and 2, 7, And I saw the color of amber, as the appearance of fire round about within it, from the appearance of his loins even upward, and from the appearance of his loins even downward. I saw if it was the appearance of fire, and it had a right brightness round about. And Luke 9, 3 and 2, Now Peter and those with him were weighed down with sleep, but when they fully awoke, they saw Jesus' glory Splendor, majesty, and brightness. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. He is our rock. He is our fortress. He will be he, he will be right beside us in times of trouble. And none will take us from his hand. When I saw this message today, it, it reminded me of the vision the dream I had and the answer to my prayers from when I surrendered at his feet some of my responsibilities and some of the things that I was fearing of the future and when he took these from me he in turn gave me his perfect peace and when I read this again today I was filled almost immediately with his perfect peace again and knowing that he is there with us through everything we have to face. I hope this message finds each and every one of you doing well. I plead the blood of Jesus over any and all who are led by the Holy Spirit of God here to listen to this message. I pray that Father God in heaven would place his hedge of protection from his holy throne room around each and every one of you above you and below you and around about every side, around your homes and around your families, around your vehicles, around your children, around your places of work and worship, around your children and their schools, and the things that they do after they are done with school, around their babysitters, around your provisions, and around your land. I pray all this in the most holy name of Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior, to our Father who art in heaven. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen and amen.